Okay, so the typewriter effect you've just seen was not created by Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects. It was created by Clipchamp. And to create the same typewriter effect, it's completely free. As we know, Clipchamp is a video editing software. You can create videos with it completely for free. It's provided by Microsoft. So all you need is to come to clipchamp.com over here. And then you can come directly and say, try Clipchamp. And you can just log in directly with any of your accounts okay so you can go ahead and log in with your microsoft account you can log in with your microsoft account if you have a personal or family account you can log in with it or if you have an, a yahoo account you can go ahead and, and click on it and, and just uh, register okay or if you have a gmail account you can go ahead and click on the gmail account and register and just uh, log in you have other options you can log in with your facebook or with your dropbox account can just easily uh, click and just log in so for this tutorial i'm going to use my google account just to log in to have access to this very feature and then i'll show you how to use to create a typewriter effect in clipjump so once you're here the first thing you need to do is to come over to create a new, a video, a new video okay so create a new video from here and you'll be brought into this very platform so the first thing you need to do is to import a media if you have anything outside your computer or whichever device you want to import the video footage or any media you can import directly from there if you can import the uh, from files or from a phone or from onedrive or google drive or dropbox you can link all of them to this or if it is within your computer you can just navigate to wherever you have it saved and just import it directly assuming i am just want to i just want to use an image so i just uh, select this image of FYS Toastmasters Club and you can see it's just been imported so you can click on this plus sign to add to the timeline and you can see I've just added it to, the, to my timeline you can just navigate over here so to add the particular text all you need is to come to text over here and you can see a range of text that we have and the one we're targeting for now is the typewriter you can see it over here as you hover over it you will see the typewriting effect okay so all you need is to just click on the plot sign and it's going to add it to your timeline so you can just adjust okay make sure it is the same length with the media that you have below here okay x x or else you can just adjust the length from uh, by just clicking on the edge of it and just dragging so you can see we just ad adjusted the sizing the length of the text now you can select the text just by mere clicking okay click out and then click the text and you come over here click the text over here and you have the option to choose different kind of features across this text for example the very text that you wanted to uh, write for you you can select and just uh, type the text for example i can want i wanted to say welcome to my channel All right so if you want to see the sample you have to bring in the timeline or um, the playhead over here so you'll be able to see it clearly okay so it, you can select and change the font style as you so wish you can just navigate and change the font style accordingly but i think i like these source pants okay so still on this i like this one you can play around with the sizing if you want how big or how small you want it and if you want to change the color of the text you can click over here and change the color of the text I think I'd rather keep it at white. I kind of like it at white because of the background um, image. Okay, so this is the you can change the background color as well if you want to leave without the background color. If you want to add a background color, you can just easily select and add it accordingly. So I think without a background color is kind of perfect for me for this tutorial. And you can play around with the position. You can put it at the top, you can put it at the bottom or side. Okay, left and right side or you can put it at the center for this tutorial I'll just keep everything at the center so once you are certain with what you have you can uh, go ahead and and play and just see a preview of what you have uh, selected or in cases if you want to add in some other effects you can come over to fade effects you can add in the fade effect okay you can add in the fade in and the fade out if you are interested but for now i don't want to add anyone and you can come to effect also there are a series of effects that you can add to the text if you're interested you can just add any you can see as you hover over any of the effect you'll be able to see the preview on the text feature that you have and you can adjust the color as well from here you can play around with the color 
uh, effects like the exposure, the contrast, the saturation, and the temperature. You can do all that as well as the transparency for the text that you've selected, okay? So let's say at this moment, I just want to have everything at default. So let's go back and just play it to have a preview of how the text is going to come in and how it's going to exit the, um, the canvas. You can see, welcome to my channel. And let's see how it's going to exit. You can see perfectly. So I think if you see what, if you like what you see, uh, in my own case, I like what I see. All you need is to come to export and then you can define the uh, the export quality. I want to go with 1080p. You just select this and you can bring your video over here and it's been exported. You can rename it if you want and make it typewriter effects. And you can see right now it's been exported. You can just click and you have access to your video directly. So once you click, you can play it and it's going to play the typewriter effect for you. So it all bows down to you, what kind of video you want to create and how you're interested in creating it. This is just a bit about how to use or how to create the typewriter effect with ClipChamp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.